Hi TBC ladies. I hope this video finds you well and that you're having a really great Saturday. I just have a short thought to share with you. You may have thought of this before and maybe not, but I do believe it will encourage you. I do want to ask a question first. Do we know that we have a governing peace? Philippians 4 and verse 7, and this is in the Amplified. It says, And the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over our hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. What really struck me about this verse is where it says that it stands guard over our hearts and our minds. And sometimes we know our minds can just be the biggest attackers of ourselves. But it also tells us that it is a governing piece. It takes watch and it keeps us. It protects us, this supernatural piece. It's one that doesn't really make sense because it's something that only can come from God. But it is a reason why our hearts can have peace during times of uncertainty. Another scripture I want to share with you is John chapter 16 and verse 33. And this is the King James Version. The verses leading up to it, um, Jesus was talking to the disciples about his deity and how his deity will make it so that they will never ever have to feel alone. Verse 33. It says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. Wow. Here he's confirming that yes, we're going to have tribulations. We're going to have problems. We're going to face things in this world. But he has promised a peace that presides over all of those problems. He knows the end from the beginning. He's promised a governing peace, a presiding peace. We're living in unprecedented times in our eyes. But in the scripture, the Bible is saying that he has already overcome. He will provide justice where justice is needed. He's given us a peace in him that will stand guard, protect us, and keep us. And I just want to encourage you that you have that governing peace today and you have access to that. God bless.